da 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 What's the next up? Now we're getting in the mid nineties, and in the eighties there were cartoons for adults. There were, but not very many, and. Mostly, it was from Japan, or Europe, or from small independent American studios, and the stories were kind of weird. Um, and then by the early nineties, we started to get a few more cartoons for adults, um, but but you kind of had to look for them. You kind of had to look for them. And something happened. Like Disney realized, well, Disney had always realized that they could make cartoons. They could make animated movies that was fun for the whole family, not just for the kids. They started making cartoons that people of all ages could get some enjoyment out of. And so something they did that was very interesting is they made an, uh, a, a weekday afternoon series where the audience was not children. And I'm talking about gargoyles. So in the mid-90s, they did an experiment. They, they um, took out, there was a comic book series, I think, and, and they took this idea and they hired a very, very young writer. And they, and they took a big risk and said, let's take this comic book series let's take this this young writer let's put them together and make a disney cartoon tv cartoon but the audience is going to be teenagers and college students not children we're gonna try that and and disney wasn't the only one i mean and they're, they're, maybe they were the first or maybe they were like second but but other animation studios started to to experiment too like around this time there was x-men there was an x-men cartoon that there was violence um characters died uh, there, there was um, around this time in the mid '90s, there was a Spider-Man cartoon, which tried to take an old, old, old Spider-Man series from the '60s and '70s and give it a fresh look, and you got to see um, the two identities of Spider-Man, um, Spider-Man being the superhero. And then also this conflict he had as Peter Parker, that was his secret identity. He was Peter Parker, right? And see them, see the two kind of uh, interacting with, with living a, a, a dual life, a life as both a regular person and also as a superhero. Like, what, what, what would that be like? And so, and, and of course, the, the only... The only audience that can kind of understand very, very complex ideas about identity um, would be, you know, teenagers, college students, young, young, young working adults. And so Gargoyles um, was in this first generation of adult cartoons. I mean, we have a ton of them now. We've had them for 20 years, but they had to start somewhere in Disney was one of the first to try it out. We have a word for this, pioneer. Disney was very much a pioneer, trying new things. And while, while it didn't really work for Disney, everybody else saw that it could work and kept trying, even though Disney gave up. After Gargoyles, um, it would take a very long time for Disney to try to, to come back and try it again, which they do. And the person they bring to make it happen was the creator and the, the, the producer of this show, Gargoyles. They brought him back and said, hey, remember when you worked on this series with us? Um, let's try it again. And we're going to use you, but you've got, you've got more to experience now in the industry. You know how this works. Um, 
and you've gotten better at what you do. Now show us what you can do. And Disney made a new series with this guy. His name is Dave Filoni. Um, and that's going to come back. I'm going to talk about that. We're going to come back to this later, but I want to, I want to focus on gar gargoyles. Gargoyles takes what is basically a horror monster uh, story and turns it into an action adventure drama. It's a it's a drama. So they take the horror and monster and, and just change it into something where it, 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 it could be humans. It could be other things, but they chose monsters to tell this story that was really good. Now, it doesn't, it's, it's 27 years old, so it's not the same as today. You have to remember it's 27 years ago, but, but for its time, I watched it a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I did watch it, and it was really good. It it actually was good enough that they probably could have shown this series in the in the evening with the other dramas. It, it was it was that good. It was, it was quite a good series. So anyway, gargoyles. So where does Disney go next? 